Hello there, everyone. Welcome back. I am Bogmog. We are, uh, I, I did a little meddling around with my, uh, estates. I think they're, they're a little more balanced now, in terms of where I want everything at. Uh, for maximum. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, they're about where I where I want them at for maximum. I'm gonna do with this. Let's actually send you guys like so. Three armies of thirty thousand, perhaps, would be a better use of training. I meddled with my states to get them a little better, uh, to try and more efficiently manage my income. As you can see, we're at twenty-two-ish. Oh, our heir is Midas touched, which will yield us wonderful, wonderful income. The menace from Matsolo. We commit the. All right. So, well, you know what? I don't care if uh, they hate me. So we made landfall. Two men, one old and one young, approached the ship. Uh, when a musket was fired over their heads to make them back away, it wounded the older man slightly. Uh, we are really bad shots. He ran out to their huts and they brought men who threw spears at the crew until they were chased off. After two more rounds were fired, they left their children behind. Some small trinkets and beads were left behind with the children as a gesture of friendship. If they return, kill them. Um, I took the option that um, guarantees I won't get uprisings, so I've, I'm going to stick to that. No sign yet of the... Uh, oh, that's a, oh, weird. No sign yet of the Western powers. Um, but what I am going to also do, though, is recall you. And I'm going to gobble up these little islands. Which are often used as a stepping stone by said Western powers to get to the Spice Islands. Which I would like to keep for myself. And I've got the income to manage uh, to manage those, those colonists, so I'm okay with things. We've got seven years on a treaty with you. Six years on a treaty with you. Nine years with you. And I'm going to be honest, the Vigianagar are going to be the next... I'm going to eat my way south through here. All right? Mm. Lucha San John Port, yeah. I'm going to eat my way south, and then, basically, I'm going to, one at a time, I'm going to start offing my allies. I'm sad to say it. It has to be. But they will make delicious, delicious. Oh, so delicious. Upper Doab, eh? I'm going to boost the missionary power there for a bit. Which reminds me, let's take a look at my... Nope, that's not the one. Say edict, make sure I don't have anything going active that I don't need, like over here. We'll now edict that for the moment. Mm. Protest in Arkaba, or Abarka, sorry. Uh, as men of great spiritual strength, but also firmly part of the establishment, members of the Ulema sometimes choose to join social protests. I will take the moving towards legalism. Mm. Mm. I'm also going to just get, just get all of that I can get out of it. Mm. Colony is struck by Roman fever. We'll send them to organize a response. Mm. Yeah, so then we can make them into trading companies. Less tax, less manpower, but increased value for trade. I'm going to take it. The East African Charter. Mm, reduce its value as a source of troops and taxes. Mm, which is good. I'm okay with that. Mm, 
Which reminds me, over here, ah, you will not be able to become one. I guess as part of the Indian nation, I can actually have these as flat out part of my territory, which isn't bad. Alright, let's muse at the world a bit. Hmm. Looks like the Ottoman... Yep, Mamluks are being devoured slowly by the Ottomans. The inevitable auto-eat. We want to keep, uh, keep on the good side of Muscovy to hold the Ottomans off us. Tunis is doing well. France is doing well. Hungary's done quite well. Spain, fine. England's good. Austria's fine. We're seeing... Eh, this is fairly usual. Fairly usual here. Oh, Tuscany. Big Tuscany. Not. I don't usually see that. Genoa's biggish. Portugal's about as Portugal is. Angola. Mamluks, you never took the time to properly deal with the south. Alright, what do we got here? Mughal artillery cost down 50%. Very tempting. Faster spread. Prestige per development for missionary. You know what? Extra prestige, I think I might take. Ooh, war score cost versus other religions. Yes. Yeah, because there are a lot of Hindu around here. To just make it oh so easy to attack. Mm. It looks like we're getting tea out of here now? Yeah. Tea? Nice. Mm -hmm. Taxation's fine. Production's fine. There we are. Colonial range up 50%. Take it. Mm -hmm. Overseas exploration. Sentiment colonies in distant lands is pretty much a one-way trip. If strange diseases don't get you. The amount of time it takes to sail back means you won't be coming home. Must remind them of the potential riches they could make and then send back to me. We've got scholars coming back. I'll take the legalism and admin points. Where are we at then? Hundred and nineteen percent. Slowly building. Uh, explore again. He's trying to see. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have went with the. Uh, go go heavy into mysticism again. Cause this is a lot of provinces. And I'm just gonna get more out of the Hindu provinces. Mm, the Hindu is cheap to keep to bring down. And again, morale really handy. Mm. No, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna stay heavy into tech. There's a building I think I can make for this. There we are, the Great Mosque, Tech 19. Mm, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. Mm. Though my military score is climbing. Mm. Alright, how much longer? Five years. Uh, do I eat a man? I could eat a man. Would be all that ibbity though. Copper's decently valuable. A little bit of wool, some grain, some of the cows, uh, some spices. It's really terrible though. Desert, plus 30% development cost. Really not good. Baluchistan embraced colonialism. Good for them. Good for them. Now oh, we're starting to finally get a little map of the world. Hey, there's the Ming! Hi, Ming. Malacca's done well for themselves. Brunei's fine. Miguel's still doing good. 
think. Yeah, they are not yet a vassal of the Ming, which is good. I don't want anyone to be a vassal of the Ming, if we can avoid it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I spent a little bit of... a little bit. Uh, all right, no elder leader after. Well, then who took over in Venice? Oh, Venice! You've basically vanished off the map. Uh, oh, our leader is a conqueror. Minus five years of separatism. That's actually very good. Separatism. Talented judge. Ooh. Skill three, half price. Yes, that's what we need. Skill three, half price. There we are. Diplomatic wrap up by one. Only cost me six a month. We're getting plus three points out of it. Which I can funnel wonderfully. Yes. Mm. Yay, the heretics of Upper Doab converted to the true faith. Oh, Delhi. Which is also part of Upper Doab, which is enjoying the bonus religious unity right now. Excellent. Mmm. Oh, mm, could be better. What I need is some gold. But I think it is... It is Gujarat... No. It is Mawar that has the gold mine. Not the, uh, and they haven't developed it much. They could be developing it more for money. Mm. Chagatai seem to have finally gotten over their issues. More or less. Surprised Muscovy hasn't gone full Russia yet. What are they missing to do it? Hmm. Secure Western Siberia. Alright. Safeguard Eastern Anatolia. Alright. Hmm. It still holds a little bit. Just a teensy bit. Is anyone really up to anything interesting? Ooh, that's a good idea. How is... How has Protestant... Alright. Fairly strong Protestant movement. Um, Holy Roman Empire. We have not gone into... Did they already do their religious war? Hmm. Hmm. Join the Reformation? I can't do that. Yeah, Mawar. Mawar, you are eventually going to have to be destroyed. I'm sorry, buddy. Just, it needs to happen. Once again, I'm going to need to spend some points uh, for my military. Uh, let's take a little look. Hmm. What I'm looking for is a is is a decent. You know what? I'm gonna go with 
Sir Hind, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make there we are encourage development 10% cheaper yes perfect five points there and four boop I went five oh well it's every um five or ten I believe that gives you a new building slot yeah that's what it is. Every ten plus your terrain type. So yeah, I, I like to, when I when I buy them up. I tend to push them up in fives if I can afford it. And two years ahead of time on that, so that should be okay. There we are. That will do fine. Three more of those to push me into... Ooh! Nice! Maximum! Nearly 70k! Very nice. Very good. Mm -hmm. Cars are doing fine. Sure, you can move through my lands. Obviously, uh, more colonists is better. When my generals passed on. Oh, two base packs in Selkot. That's a very good fighting general, 4 5. And what do we have here? Multani. In uh, Derajat and Cholistan. There we are. There we are. Plus 20 settlers. So, we've achieved our next level. A great empire demands monumental buildings. And our cosmopolitan empire architects are already creating marvelous buildings. Law generations to come. Our dynasty should be, should be at the forefront of this movement, creating great works of a kind the world has never seen. Plus one prestige a year. Then, by portraying colonial lands and new virgin land where any man can make his home, his fortune, possibly some women too, people will emigrate quicker to the colonies. Meaning, yeah, we'll have to spend less money encouraging people to go there. Which is great! It's exactly what we want. Tariffs. And then we've got more colonists. And we've got Global Empire, which is more boats. And it lets me do overseas colonial region claims. So basically, if I ever made it to North America. Oh, the Uesugi and the Hosokawa appear to be fighting over who gets to be Japan. Or does Japan exist? Is a daimyo. Ah, oh, so the Hosokawa must be the emperor? You're not allowed to have daimyos other, uh, otherwise. Ah, the shogun, sorry. Well done, sir. Korea's doing fine. The Ming's there. Okay. Bali. Hmm. Well, actually, now that I think about it, isn't there gold? There's some gold. In Kilwa. Move toward legalism. No, I'm going to push. Look at that. Kilwa. Ally of Sofala Pate Makua. Because obviously that would be a nice little piece of land to have. Gold is always, is always a good, wonderful source of income. Mm -hmm. Alright, we are waiting on what? One year? Yes, one year. This China Sea coast has been explored. Ottomans are rivaling with the Austrians. 
And they're a big power block. It's good, it's good for the Austrians. Well, it's bad for the Austrians that they didn't they didn't make the uh, Hungary part of their von Habsburg finally. In fact, I want to take a look at that. So, two doors in England. No, Ruko the Rakovich still there. Osman Gulu, Kitas, Chimerid, Surrender. That just sounds too much like Surrender. That'd be a terrible dynasty to have. On Whittle's back. Hmm. You have not played the good uh, diplomatic game, Austria. De Veloy? And De Bloy? Oh. Some weird, some weird stuff happened over here. And the York family is in Portugal? Ha! Huh. Town to judge. Dip, uh, half price diplomatic. No, we've got one of those. I will take the Harat bonus. Cheaper buildings, less than rest. Cheaper state maintenance. Yeah. All right, how much longer? Two years. Though one year on Gujarat. Hmm. Do I make Gujarat my main target? It's tempting. I can just I can really just start pushing in right here, right now, right away. Let's get some good land. Oh! Vijayanagar. The Brahmani reconquest of North Kanara against Vijayanagar. They're allied with Mewar and Andhara. Alright, well this breaks up my alliance with Mewar. Well, that's too bad. That is just too bad. Hmm. Oh, well, it had to happen eventually. I guess it might as well happen now. As long as I keep these two on my side. Uh, I guess it's, yeah, it's, it's time to decide. You know what, Moir? You are... You are land that I have interest in. So I'm going to say those four provinces are territory that I have deep, deep interest in. Ooh, actually, this is a giant state. Uh, all right. Well, the war is on. Uh, we will have to. We will actually fight the war next time. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all soon to actually wage this war properly. Talk to you in a bit.